Absolutely. My name is Jennifer Dewey. I'm here at the Archbishop Margaret Benson Idahosa's residence, God's own palace. It's indeed a great honor and privilege. In fact, I'm blessed for life to have been given this great opportunity to interview a living legend, the mother of the Pentecostal Church, and of course, the first female Archbishop in Africa. Uh, would I say you actually planned this whole thing, like having seven children and seven grandchildren on your 70th birthday, you know? It's kind of coincidence. Seven children and seven grandchildren, 70th birthday. Tell me, how did you plan it? Ah, uh, my dear, is God. I, I, <laughs> uh, you know, until, until my children started saying it, yeah. it didn't occur to me that, oh, it's, I'm celebrating seven, uh, a 70, 70th year, yeah. and I have seven children, and I have seven grandchildren. Yeah. And even on the 29th, that I really celebrated the birthday, one of the children said, It's on the seventh month. Are you Can you say 70, seven children, seven, seven grandchildren, children. on the seventh mm -hmm. month? You, you wow. see? That's so, you know, I didn't plan it, but God planned it for me. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Comparing the church now and like the CGM as of today and the CGM 30 years back, what are the differences? What can you say about it? Uh, there's uh, a lot of difference. 30 years back, my husband was here. Okay. My husband departed 15 years ago. Okay. So 30 years back, he was in charge and he was doing everything according to the dictates of God. Yeah. But today, I'm the one here. And I'm, I'm also following his footsteps. Even though uh, he did all that God told him to do, but now I'm following his footsteps, as I said, also tuning my spirit into God, that God might begin to release to me that which he wants us to do. And by the grace of God, the ministry has gone a little bit wider and bigger than when mm -hmm. than 30 years ago. Can you describe your vision for the church? You know, when I, when I came into this position or into this office, I had to go into prayers to, to ask God, God, I am not a uh, Benson in the house. I am Margaret. I started praying and questioning God and telling God, this is, this is just me. You just got to help me out of this uh, uh, the, the, the position that I am in now. I don't want to be a failure. I want to succeed. But God just helped me. And I went to fasting and prayer. And God gave me and, and God gave me some words, you know, global, training, men, women, leadership. So I just sat down and I put all the words together, which is training, leading, developing men and women into leadership with a global passion deeply rooted in Christ which is the truth so that is the vision that God gave me and that vision is what we are driving thank you Join our growing list of beautiful readers and see how Trendy Africa can capture your moment to treasure. Trendy Africa offers you a unique approach to the African culture. It is visually stimulating, it entertains and educates. We feature columns on health, cuisine, automobiles, property, fashion, finance, sports, and tourism. We report the coolest things happening in Africa and the African diaspora. Trendy takes the trend, but that's for Elegance, class, and culture.